Hello YouTube, this is Johnny. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to flash your InFocus phone. In my case here, my InFocus, uh, when I turn it on, it gets stuck on the bootloader, on its boot. It gets stuck and reboots itself every time. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to hard reset this phone. I'm going to quickly show you. You're going to see that I have an issue here. The phone reboots, goes in to reboot again and again and again. So what we're going to do here, I have my PC opened and I have, I've brought some, I have some fresh files. As you can see here on the phone, the phone reboots, but it doesn't go to open the files. It reboots, it reaches here then, So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to flash this phone very quickly. So when your phone gets stuck here, I'm going to quickly show you how to unbreak it. So right now we have our desktop computer. Then I have a cable here, which I'm going to remove from this PC. So I'm using, I was tethering the internet. So what you see here, we are going to go ahead and go to, we have our folder here. Hope you see the folder. We have this folder that has all the files to flash the computer phone. So here I happen to have the firmware, the flash files, the tools to use. Then you also have the uh, flashing tool, this one here, and I'm going to click, as you can see our phone reboots, so it gets stuck from there only. So when you download, I'm going to show you where I download these files, you have to install all these drives so that the process works. Then I'm going to click next, back. Then the firmware is here, it's uh, around uh, 1.5 GB. So we go to Firefox. So I want you to go ahead and type in this. I'm going to put it in the description. Then this will take you to the download part. Then I want you to go here, I've just opened another link because I've disconnected the internet. Then this will give you this. This is a zipped file that when you extract it, this is what you'll get. So this is what you download. Then you can also go ahead and get some instructions here. So if I minimize, I'm going to go ahead and click our file. So this is very important. This is the software that flashes the phone. As you can see, the phone still is re rebooting itself and non-stop. So what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and open the file here. After installing it, then I click here, then I say, when I double tap on it to ask me to run it as an administrator, then you click yes. Then to bring this file, then what happens here, you have to connect your phone. You have to connect your phone. Then after you click next, the next step here, we are going to go and select the, the file from our, the firmware. Then you select it from here. Then after you go for, so you have this update here. So for my case, I have some data on my phone. 
So I'm going to use the normal download. Then I'm not going to use the emergence one. This will just delete the user data. So I'm going to use this first one to flash the phone without losing any data. So if you are having a new phone, you can always delete. By my case, I'm flashing it so that it can have the files. So what happens here, if I come back here, so the computer is going to update the phone. So it's loading the image. It's loading the image. Then our phone will reboot again. And they are also telling you don't disconnect your phone from the computer. And you have to make sure you have at least 50% of battery and above. So let's wait. Uh, now as you can see, it is installing the flash files on the phone. But nothing happens on the phone, but we can see that the files are being transferred. And this is very, very easy. As long as you have all the files that are required. So the phone is rebooting. It's now rebooting, flashing the files, everything. So in my case, what happened to my phone is I was using the internet. Then my phone drained to zero percent. Then accidentally, I don't know how the files went off. You can even see here. We have the files installing and this is what's happening i'm sorry if i'm shaking a lot but i'm doing my best to have this done so this process will take you like uh, 10 minutes but downloading the files will take some good good time as long as you have fast internet it won't take more than one hour to download that file So what we have here, our phone is installing files and this is our Inifocus M2, we are in the download mode, M2 4G version. So this would work on the 3G version if you have the files installed. So right now our phone is completely and it has successfully updated and what we have here now we are going to focus on the phone and see if it opens so we are going to focus here and this is how you do the uh, this is how you do your flashing your phones uh, right now we have the phone it has come back to normal and I have not lost my data because I used the normal mode. So right now here I had a video. Yes, I have my data there. I still have them. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. This is how you can flash your InFocus phone without losing any, any, any data. And this is an InFocus M2. As you can see, I've flashed my phone without losing data. Yes, and I can still go to, let me check, let me check. I can still go to messages. So I've not lost any data. As you can see, I've not lost anything. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. And this would work on other, other in-focus phones. Yes. So right now here, I'm going to disconnect my phone because I've finished everything. And I'm going to restart it so that you can see that our phone reboots again. So I'm restarting the phone.
yes if you are new to this channel please please subscribe subscribe to this channel so the phone has rebooted so to check if the problem has gone we reboot the phone and see what happens this is a very simple procedure that you can do yourself at home in this period so this is how it works so if the phone has a pattern that you don't know you just go to the other option for erasing data so I happen to have all my applications on the phone so when you reach here if you're having issues I had some issues you have to install these drivers these drivers are very very important these ones here if you don't have them you have to install the dot net have to install them for the computer to be for the phone to be able to be seen you have to install this and all those files will come with the all this folder here so thanks for watching this is john and make sure you subscribe comment if you need any help i'm going to put the link to that file have a nice time goodbye